Y'all know when it comes to these fast fashion joints, bleach on, bleach off. <laughs> Well, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Kyra Sean. Today's video is brought to you by the Doodle Hair. They sent me this unit to try for you guys. It is also Sip and Slay. Your girl got her Wawa today because, listen, I'm trying to get my water intake in. I'm almost done. A gallon. Look. Mm-hmm. Clean that system out. Get that water intake, okay? Now, today's install is all about the bobs. My neck is breathing today. Ooh-wee. I have not done a curly closure bob from a fast fashion brand in a while. And listen. <laughs> Before I show you guys how I installed this beginner friendly closure wig, okay, that means there's no lace on my sides. That's me, okay? Make sure if you're new to the channel, you go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Let's go. So like I said, this unit is from the Doodle Hair. All the specs of my unit are right here on the screen, so if you wanna check it out, you can. This should be a very easy install. We're gonna try to give a full look with this curly bob situation. This is a pre-cut, pre-plucked Bye Bye Knots unit. They did send me the Bye Bye Knots tape, as I showed you guys in the packaging, but I will not be using that for my wig because I don't like the tape for Mwah. Even though it is by my knots, y'all know when it comes to these fast fashion joints, bleach on, bleach off. So I'm gonna tint my lace with my Black Radiant Soft Focus Powder in the color Milk Chocolate. Your girl been outside, so I got a little tan. So we're gonna deepen up that lace, especially around the edge. I shouldn't have to cut any lace off because again, it is pre-cut. I am noticing this um, frontal is very like, natural looking and for Nadula, that is pretty decent. However, comma, make sure that the wig that you sent me Nadula, you send the wig base, okay? Don't be out here lying to folks, okay? Y'all know I don't play that. My wig did come with a strong chemical smell, so I did go in and wash mine, but it is stylable out the pack if you wanna give a little hoe bath, okay? You can do that. I just figured it's not a lot of hair, so I can just go ahead and wash it. <laughs> it came with a left side part, but y'all know I'm a right side girl, so I do wanna do the part on the right side. It is a pre-cut closure. If you want a little bit more um, lace on your side, just cock your wig to the side, okay? Move it more to the side to give you more lace. They did send me a detangler brush, which I also use as a clumper. I did get some shedding when I did my wash, but no tangling. It was very easy to comb through this hair. Still getting some shedding. I'm hoping this is from the tracks and not from my frontal. Let me just clip this up and I'm gonna do my hairline really quick. I'm gonna use my Nairobi mousse. I haven't decided if I'm gonna spray this down or not. I mean, I might depending on how the lace lays down. Right now it's laying pretty decent, but we'll see after I do the swishies and unwrap her if she gonna stay in place. It is fitting pretty comfortable. Again, this is a closure wig, so you're not getting lace coverage on your sides. Your sides will be out. So if you have thin edges or no edges, it will show on the sides. But you can finagle some edges using the swishy method, as I'm doing right here, to bring the hair down so that you have some coverage on your sides if you plan on wearing the hair up or back off your face. This is actually pretty cute with the clip up. And I'm just saying, they did send your girl a band, so let's wrap it. Wrap it down. Let's get this hair. Ooh, ooh. Even though I washed it, I don't want it in my mouth. I'm gonna use my Nairobi mousse again all over. You can use whatever mousse or product you want to clump your curls. I've also used the Shea Moisture Frizz Free Curl Mousse. That is a good one as well. I do like the Nairobi because it gives me the lived in look that I want. This is taking no time at all. Work that in the back. I haven't even picked up my brush yet. Maybe I don't have to with this one just because of how it's clumping together. Let me just make sure my ends are clumped how I want it. I don't want the stringy looks. So I'm just trying to get rid of any pieces that are kind of scraggly. Curl that up. Ooh, I'm still getting shed in though, which is not great, especially for this density length and texture. Clip this back over here. I'm gonna go ahead and let this air dry a bit and then we'll diffuse the hair, fluff it and finish up the styling, okay? Thank you. 
Okay, so the hair is dried down. I cannot find my pick, so I'm gonna use my comb and try to fluff up the hair a little bit more, especially at the root. Let me try to get under the curls a bit, give a little body to it, bring it down like that and get the back. Make sure I go up and under and get this right here. Take the band off, see what this is looking like. Looking pretty decent. Comb some of that back. This is what I'm talking about with the sides over here. Kind of finagle those down. Even though I don't think I need to spray it down, I'm going to anyway just because I want it to not move. And this is a Big Hit Associate cap for me, especially with this heat outside. Okay, if I start sweating, my wig gonna slip right on back. I'm not gonna go all the way across. I just wanna kinda tack it down right here just to make sure it doesn't move. So I'm gonna use my melt spray right here. Brush back what I don't need. Make sure that's all good. Let me get my contour. A little bit too much, let me tap some on the paper. This is my cream contour. You can use whatever lace blended method you want, but I am using my Juvia's Place foundation stick in the color Catsina. Take my Black Radiance powder again and put some in my parting space. Just a little bit, blend that all together. And take off this clip, go ahead and tease that down. Hold up, make sure the back is down. And I wanna add a little bit more lift right here. I'm using my Tresemme Extra Hold hairspray right here to kind of lift it a bit. Ah! I didn't got it in my eye. A little bit more right here. If you can't get the lift you need, use your hairspray. Scrunch it up. All right, I think we're done. Yeah, so here is the final look. This came out cuter than expected. <laughs> Okay, Bob. I mean, it's not really much to say about the wig. The lace melted really nice. The hairline looks good. The curl is nice. The only con I could say for this wig is the shedding. I'm not getting no more shedding since I've styled it, but the shedding to get to this point was a little bit more than I expected, especially for this texture. I normally don't get a lot of shedding with Jerry Curly. I mainly see that with curls that have like a texture to them. So like kinky, curly, or coily. But all in all, it still came out cute. I didn't find any bald spots, so you know, that's always good. This is how we are looking up close. You can see the lace is right here, okay? It's lace, not skin, but it's blended. My edges are out on the side. Again, this is a closure wig. Speaking of closures, let me make something really clear. When I review a wig for a brand, sometimes they've already sent me the 13 by four version of a wig, meaning the ones that had the lace from ear to ear. So when they do an update version with the pre-cut closure or a seven by five, six by four, nine by five, all that stuff, sometimes, they use the same picture and put all those under one. You just gotta choose the specs that you want. I've been getting a lot of comments lately of some of you guys buying a wig based on my review and then when you get it, it's a closure version of that wig because you may not have selected the correct option for that unit and they may not offer the 13 by four version anymore. Now with that being said, I have told brands not to do that. If you want me to do the closure version, send me the closure version and then update your picture for the closure version. Just match the pictures up. That's, that's all I'm saying. But as always, if you have questions, you can email me or comment down below. But that's enough of my rant. I'm gonna go ahead and head out for lunch, all right? Cause you know, people gotta see me. Shout out one more time to Nadula Hair for sending me this unit. I really appreciate it. I will put the direct link, my specs, and a coupon code for this unit down below. So if you guys wanna check it out, you can. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Also smash the notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. I love you guys so much and I will see you next time. Bye.